Since the beta of Godot 3, you can toggle blocks of code folded. To do this, you place your cursor on the first line of a block and press Alt F. It's going to fold it. If you have beta 2 or something more recent, uh, it's the same shortcut toggles the folded state. So you can press Alt F to unfold it. It works on any block of code. You place your cursor at the start and press Alt F. This is really cool for people who work on tutorials and video screencasts or teachers because you can hide some information this way. You can add some code to the project and really focus just on the part that people need to learn or should care about. Now on top of that, there are two unassigned shortcuts by default to fold everything and unfold everything. Let's see how to add them. And go in the editor menu, editor settings, and the shortcuts tab. Look for fold to find the fold all lines and unfold all lines shortcuts. So by default, these are empty, like so. Click on the pencil icon to set one and shift alt F to fold all lines for me and shift alt U to unfold all lines. This is more than um, a cosmetic change, by the way. It helps us manipulate code on top of giving us a map or a quick overview of our code structure. So if I press Shift-Alt-F, you'll see I get all my methods in the script folded. It's the same as having them on the bottom left and the, the map that we have down there. But the one difference is that now, if you place your cursor above a block and you do shift down twice, you actually select the entire block. You can see I went from line 55 to 88. If I cut this, I've cut 30 lines at once and I can move my function down. When I paste it, it will unfold like it did just now. So this is a great way to move a block of code. If you want to move a block inside a function or something, it's a little more tricky. If you have lines connected right next to it and you have this block folded, for example, if you do shift down like this and you try to cut or to move the block, you will see it takes the last line, the idle here, which I don't want. So the solution to avoid this is to add a line between the block you want to move or cut and the next block. Then you can do that, you can shift and go down, press Control X for instance to cut the block or you can use Alt down to only move that block. When you have two lines like these, um, it may be worth instead to not fold it but select it directly. Let me recenter the screen on this. But when you have a longer one, like the jump, for example, it's worth adding a line and take, grabbing everything just using the folded block. So there you go. It's, it's a pretty interesting addition. I know that a lot of you requested it and uh, uh, I think the guy was Jan who added it. Anyway, big thanks. Uh, it's always pleasant to have this.